paleoethnobotany is the study of the relationship that existed between people and plants in the past. Today, when we speak of plants, we are usually referring to food. In the past, though, plants would have fulfilled more than just basic subsistence needs. In fact, local plant communities would have been relied upon to fulfill many of the basic day-to-day -day needs within a society, including transportation, clothing, shelter, and ritual and medicinal needs. This makes archaeologically recovered plant assemblages a powerful data set that allow us to broaden our interpretations of past lifeways beyond basic subsistence. Prior to the flotation revolution in the 1960s, most plant remains were captured in quarter-inch screens at archaeological excavations or were hand-picked from the site if they were visible to the naked eye. Large, dense items like hickory nutshell or corn cobs were commonly recovered in this part of the world. The development of flotation and the use of smaller sized mesh as part of this process allows for the recovery of much smaller items like seeds. Today we collect samples to process in a variety of ways. We can collect feature deposits or take a flotation column through an entire occupational sequence from a site. Once these samples are collected, they are floated or introduced to water. Because carbonized plant remains are lighter than water, they will float to the surface where they are siphoned into a very fine mesh known as light fraction, or they sink into a larger size mesh known as heavy fraction. Once properly dried, the remains are analyzed under a microscope and identified. As a result of flotation and the systematic recovery of flotation samples from archaeological sites over the past 50 years, Eastern North America is now known to be one of eight global centers of independent plant domestication. A suite of small seed crops referred to as the Eastern Agricultural Complex were domesticated between 5 and 3,800 years ago. These small seeds would have passed right through screens in an archaeological excavation, but were collected through the development of the flotation process. These eastern agricultural plants were heavily utilized for thousands of years before the introduction of maize to the area from Mesoamerica. While plant domestication and agriculture remain the primary focus of plant-based research, today it is not uncommon to see these same data sets being used to discuss a wide variety of research topics, including ritual and religion, gender, inequality, mobility and settlement patterns, as well as subsistence and seasonality.